Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to just a quick little video here. I was just, as you know, the 2K19 prelude just came out. I streamed it if you didn't watch it, whatever, but like, you probably watched it somewhere or probably played it. So, it's probably, the gameplay is probably, and the visuals are probably going to be the same inside the prelude as they are inside actual 2K17. So, they exclaimed that they've obviously made some changes inside 2K19. And as I saw, it was true, and I'm gonna go over all the things that I saw that were different inside 2K19 from 2K18. To start off with the visuals, the shop meter is longer, it's not wider, but it's still in the head, which I think is really good, because then you're looking at the guy's shot release rather than his feet. So when you're looking at somebody's feet, you're just really not paying attention to their actual jump shot, you're just, you're just trying to time it correctly, which I feel is kind of bad. Um, the the players almost seem smaller on the floor than inside 2K18, if that makes sense. Like, like I feel like there's more room to roam around. Uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing or a good thing, it's very minimal and it's probably not actually a thing, it just, I kind of feel like it's that way. The, the graphics kind of feel about the same, I'd say, I mean, there's probably better details and stuff, but as far as I was concerned when I was playing, they looked about the same. Now onto gameplay, um, there's, the snatchbacks have definitely been, like, like, bumped off, like, they're not nearly as good, which is definitely nice, because they're basically impossible to, um, to guard, and, um, like, the blow-by animations are definitely fixed, like, the AI defense is much better, like, like, I, I was, I, I don't ice so much. But like when I was inside that game, it, it, it was, I was going to say it's hard, hard, much harder to get past the defenders inside 2K18, which is very nice because then you have to rely more on ball movement. The, the shot meter also, it goes up on post hooks, which is fantastic because if you don't know, I like to work in the post a lot with or without a big man. And so with the, with the shot meter on post hooks and post shots, it makes it a whole lot easier. Like, inside 2K18, there wasn't a shot meter on, like, post hooks and post fades. Actually, I think there was a post fades. and post hooks, there wasn't, and it was so hard to time them. They were just so underpowered and stuff. Um, another thing is on defense, when you reach, it's either a steal or a foul. So you can't spam square and expect to just get away with it. Like, you're either going to steal it or you're going to get a foul. I'm not sure the difficulty I was playing on inside the tutorial or whatever, but... It, it definitely seemed like whenever you press square, something happens. So I guess that's good. Maybe not necessarily for me, because I do kind of spam a square. I reach a lot, but I mean, I'll get used to that. And probably the final thing is, like on the fast break, let's say, <clears throat> let's say the other team uh, shoots a shot, they shoot a mid-range shot, and uh, somebody gets a rebound. Let's say your center gets the rebound, he passes it to your point guard. Uh, he's bringing up the floor, and the two wings, instead of kind of cutting to the basket, I found that they usually flashed out to the three-point line. So this is both good and bad. I am not huge on threes, but it definitely helps the paint not get clogged up so that your power forward and center can kind of cut in. So it can get easier buckets for the bigs, but for the wings, definitely they're not going to cut in as much. Uh, you might be able to change it inside the settings, but as far as I was concerned when I was playing, they definitely flashed out to the three-point line to allow for, obviously, more spacing, because most players, you know, enjoy that kind of thing. So, if if you found anything else inside the prelude that I'm missing, feel free to drop it down in the comments, but I'm pretty sure I went over most of the big things. So, yeah, I have a Phoenix Suns video coming out soon, so... Stay tuned for that, but thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one